Hello, Ann Richards stars. I'm Mrs. Mayo, your library clerk, and I can't wait to meet all of you new stars, and I certainly can't wait to see all of you old stars again, just as soon as it's safe for all of us to be together. When the next senior speaker asked me to introduce her today, I felt so honored and immediately started thinking of all the wonderful things I would tell you about her, like how smart and inquisitive and how strong yet sensitive, how talented and involved she is, how kind and helpful she is, and how she has this weird little um, affection for mermaids. But after reading through the rough draft of her speech, I realized you didn't need to hear about her and how wonderful she is. Instead, you need to hear her message. Now you've probably heard sentiments about what she's gonna say like this before, but if you didn't need the message at the time, it might not have stuck with you. So please listen to what she says and decide to take her message to heart and truly believe and practice her advice in middle school, high school, college, and the rest of your life. And I promise you, you'll, you'll have way less anxiety and angst because of it. I proudly introduce to you Francesca Abraziz. I want to start off by saying thank you for tuning in to watch my senior speech. I know it's been a really hard year for all of us and it makes me really happy that we get to honor this amazing and Richards tradition. I hope that by hearing what I have to say that you will know that you're not alone and that you can walk away with some kind words to tell yourself throughout your time at Ann Richards and beyond so you can realize your worth and just how amazing each and every single one of you really are. I've struggled for as long as I can remember with feeling like I wasn't good enough, especially in comparison to the people around me. I for a long time felt that I was mediocre at best, and no matter how many compliments I received, how many tests I aced, how many clubs I joined, I was just not doing it well enough. And it's significantly harder to feel adequate in an environment like the one at our school, where you feel everyone is the best of the best and you're encouraged and told to do as much as you can, as best as you can. Don't get me wrong, we are much better off having gone here, and I couldn't be more proud to say I've gone to Ann Richards, but it takes a toll on your self-esteem when you're surrounded by people you think are better than you. With that, I acknowledge that some of this comes with being a teenager. It's normal to feel behind, it's especially when it's amplified by your environment. But it is of the utmost importance that you try your absolute hardest to stop comparing yourself to others. And again, stop comparing yourself to others. I know that we hear that all the time, but it is the best advice I can give you. I know it's not easy, but if you stop yourself when you notice you're comparing this or that to somebody else, it'll stop being your first thought. I appreciate that this is a hard thing that I'm asking you to do, so here's a little vote of confidence. Let me tell you something about yourself. You are not the exception. You are not the fluke application that slipped into the lottery and by some miracle was accepted into this school. If you think you don't belong here for any reason, your grades aren't good enough, or you're not involved enough, you're wrong. You're here because you're a spectacular person, and that's hard to recognize when you're surrounded by spectacular people. So take a second to breathe and to know that you are just as powerful, as strong, and as smart as every single one of your peers. You deserve every opportunity you're given, and you are enough. I'm going to leave you with a poem by Eric Hansen called Never Trust a Mirror. I hope you can come back to these words to remind yourself that you are exactly who you need to be and that people recognize you for all your beautiful qualities and talents even when you can't. Never trust a mirror, for a mirror always lies. It makes you feel that all your worth can be seen from the outside. Never trust a mirror, it only shows you skin deep. You can't see how your eyelids flutter when you're drifting off to sleep. It doesn't show you what we see when you're only being you, or how your eyes just light up when you're loving what you do. It doesn't capture when you're smiling where no one else can see, and your reflection cannot tell you everything you mean to me. Never trust a mirror, for it only shows your skin, and if you think that dictates what you're worth, it's time you looked within. Thank you.